Have you ever wanted to create images where the lights have a starburst effect, but you're not sure what camera settings to use? Or perhaps do you have some images with existing starbursts that you'd like to enhance and make bigger and brighter? Until now, there was not an easy way to do that. But in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can do it in less than two minutes with the brand new Luminar Neo extension. Hi, I'm Darlene with Digital Photo Mentor, and if you're ready to see some magical starbursts, let's get started. I figured I would use this image because what better site to add magic and sparkle to than the city lights of Las Vegas. The new extension is here on the right hand side, and it is available if you are using Luminar Neo as a plugin as well. If you have tools added to your favorites, it will be right below in the extension area. Currently, it's called Magic Light AI, but I think a more appropriate name for it would be something like Starburst AI or Star Effect AI, because that's exactly what it adds to your image. Let's take a look. I've got the tool opened, and you can see that it's got the usual set of sliders, with the first one being intensity. So to apply the effect, all you need to do is drag this one up to the right. Immediately, you'll see what's happening here is it's picking up anything that has got a bright light and adding a star to it. I've tried this on several different images and it seems to be looking for a point light source. So that means like a, a street lamp or a city light, something like that that is interpreting as an actual light source. You'll notice that it's also only picking the brightest ones. Once you've applied it, the other sliders are pretty straightforward. You can increase the size, the beam width, the amount of glow, the amount of clearness, more clearness gives you a sharper star, and less is more of a sort of foggy, hazy glow around the light. So use the one that's applicable to the image you're applying it to. In this case, I want nice pinpoint stars for the lights of Las Vegas. We can adjust the brightness, the number of beams. I think eight or nine is good for this one, and also rotate them, which is a cool feature. The one slider that I wish that it did have was a color temperature slider or a way to actually colorize or add some color to the lights. So I'll be sending that in as a feature request to Skylum. In this particular image, I'm also going to mask it because I only want it to affect the lights around the sign and not all the city lights. So I'm just going to use a brush, grab the erase tool and a nice big size brush to erase it from all these other areas. And there we have it just on the lights of the sign. Pretty cool, right? Let's take a look at another example. This is an image of the famous Shibuya crossing in Tokyo, where five intersections cross all at the same time. I wanted to see what this tool would do on the city lights and which ones it would pick up. So let's take the intensity all the way up as well as the size. I was really impressed with this actually because it's not picking up the signage as a spotlight. So as intended, it's picking up lights that are street lights and ones that are shining into the camera. See how it's picking up these here? But it's not adding a glow around the advertising signs. The other thing that I noticed that I was really impressed with is that it picks up the color of the light. You'll notice that this series here is pretty yellow and this one is a little bit more green. If we take a look at the before, that's actually matching the original image really well. So that's a huge plus. I've got one more example to show you. I've already done some editing on this image of London. I used the erase tool to actually remove the moon and I used the develop tool to turn on or enhance the street lamps that were a little bit dark. So I wanted to see if the tool would pick up these lights that I effectively have faked. Let's give it a try. So magic light, intensity, and you'll notice that it is not picking up the ones that I added. So if you have an image like this where you're faking or turning on the lights in post-processing, just export the image and re-import it back into Luminar to apply the magic light tool and it will work on all the new lights. I also took a different approach with this image and I changed out the sky. Let me show you. This is one of the skies in my new sky replacement pack that includes 14 Aurora Borealis skies, 
six night skies, and five stormy skies. So I've already replaced the sky, exported it, and put this image back into Luminar as a new image. Now let's apply the magic light, or as I like to call it, the starburst effect onto this image. Are you ready? Here it is. It actually picked up and added starbursts to two of the brightest stars in the sky. So that's pretty cool. Likewise, you can see that it's applied the colors to the light appropriately. This one looks a bit yellow. This one looks a bit pink. And if we look at the stars, they've got some blue in them. So overall, with this first iteration of the Magic Light AI extension for Luminar Neo, I'm pretty excited about it. I think it's got huge potential, and considering this is the first version, I think they've done a lot right here. If you enjoy my tutorials and would like more extensive learning, check out Luminar Neo The Complete Course. Step-by-step -step video instructions, including my raw files for you to practice with. If you'd like to watch another video here on YouTube, click here now. Until next time, happy starbursting. Take care.